everybody, E here. Where have you been all my life? Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to something completely new. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a manga. Today we're talking about Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Uh, I, I had never read a manga before this one. Is it manga? Is it manga? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Try to differentiate the spelling um, phonetically, you know, manga, manga, whatever. Um, this one, the, I, my buddy Gregor Zane uh, said, hey, you gotta read this. And I was like, okay, it's kind of expensive. Um, so I'm gonna put it off. I put it off. I put it off. It was over a year went by before I finally got to it. Now, before I go any farther, I've always known that uh, manga is read instead of, let's see here, instead of from left to right, it's read from right to left. Here in the West, of course, we read the exact opposite way. So if you hear me say you read it backward, I mean no offense to the culture. Um, I'm just, it's just westernization here. Um, so, but I knew that. What I didn't know is that the panels are supposed to be read from right to left also. I got about 30 pages into this, no, about, I want to say 15. I got about 15 pages into this before I realized that I was confused, so I had to go back and try to figure out what was wrong. Instead of looking anything up, it, it just took me a second to realize that the, the tiles were not, of course, out of order, but I was reading in the wrong direction. So if you pick up manga, know that it reads from right to left, and it's the same thing with the inside, with the actual comic. You're going to read from right to left, the panels from right to left. Anyways, on to this. Uh, there's a lot of subtext um, in the story. There's a lot of messages, as it were. But uh, just the amount of things that... This is a 600-page book. 600 and something. I don't know exactly how many. I know it is long as all get... Anyways, no page numbers. Um, it's over 600 pages. I know that much. But the amount of stuff that he pointed, that Junji Ito points out that is a spiral in the world, like snails and ice cream, well, you know, like a soft serve, all that stuff, it makes you look, it made me anyways, it made me look at the world differently. It's like all these things that you, you don't realize are not really necessarily connected, but that share a certain pattern. Uh, the last time I noticed spirals... Um, was in all, all of Tim Burton's work has spirals in it. This one, I, I'm surprised that Tim Burton hasn't used some of the stuff that was in, not not used this, but I'm surprised he hasn't used the same things that Junji Ito has, because usually Tim Burton just creates his own landscapes and whatnot, puts a spiral somewhere. With this one, it it, it blew my mind how much like tornadoes, all the whirlpools, all this stuff. You, I didn't, I just necess didn't necessarily think that all these things were spirals, but they were. Um, there's never a dull moment in this book. Uh, there's the only thing I'm going to say about this scene is the Jack in the Box. While horrific, I was also cackling. It was it was the funniest. It was it was horrific and it was hilarious at the same time. That's really hard to pull off. Unless, of course, he wasn't intending it to be funny. I guess maybe I have a dark, morbid sense of humor, but I've read, uh, I, I've since read Gyo, 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 I'm not sure. It's another one of Junji Ito's uh, books. But uh, I've since read that one. There was a lot of humor in that one. A lot of fart jokes <laughs> in that book. We'll get to that review uh, at some point. But with this one, I, I enjoyed every single panel, every single scene, there were so many things, especially when the town becomes worse, the, the absolute worst it could possibly be. I enjoyed that, and then it ended fantastically. A true horror experience all the way up until the end. If you know what I'm talking about there, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but this is how I like my horror to end. I like to be left feeling horrified or full of dread, or any number of those things. So, if you haven't read Junji Ito, and you are a horror fan, man, you are missing out. The only person I could possibly compare this this guy to may be Clive Barker. Um, not so much cosmic horror, but just, just the wacky shit 
that Clive Barker comes up with because I could totally see Junji Ito doing In the City, In the Hills. Um, or is it In the Hills, In the Cities? I can't remember. I always get it flipped around. But yeah, this is fantastic. Have you read Uzumaki um, and Tony of the Uzumaki clan? Uh, uh, finally reviewing it. Um, have you read this? If you liked it, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. If you didn't like it, I'd love to hear why you didn't like it. Um, things like this, I, I look at and I read, and if you're a horror fan, then I, I don't understand how you could possibly dislike this content. What's up? I, I don't understand, so I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to get your point of view. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review, manga review, whatever. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!